I think it's time to uh, start thinking about our design. And when we decided to uh, come here and you let us in into your home here, uh, I had a wish that this would be a tribute to New York Fire Department and for what you guys do every day to keep this city safe. But also, I want to hear what you guys think. If you want to put a truck on one side, yeah, you know, maybe with the lights, you know, lights. and all that. Uh, Rich can design this for you. He can, he can <laughs> really good drawer? Oh, no, no, we, we you don't find it. Come on, come on. Come on. No, 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 it's all right. All right. Just sing here. All right, let's do this. That's, that's what you're going with. Perfect. Turns out that Fireman Rich has some design experience. He designed the FDNY patch in honor of the 150th anniversary. Do I get the final say? I get to see the proofs before it's done, right? You know, no. usually what happens is... I'm going to talk you into flying up to Sweden. Exactly. Oh, yeah. why, don't, why don't we go to Sweden? I can talk to him personally, and we can work this out. I actually, I'm going to Skype with Dave. You might have to be on the Skype call with me. I if we can organize the... I think I need to be there. You person. need to be there. Yeah, okay. I need to be there in person. We have to we'll work, on, on, we'll work on that. The front of the rescue truck, right? The one. Yeah, the one. Every uh, fire truck usually have the number of their company on their grill and a little saying. And they're all unique. They're all individualized. You know, some trucks have like a horn, a bullhorn okay. on the top. You know, some, uh, they have dragons because they're down in Chinatown. Uh, depending on the geography, where they're located within the city, they take on the personality of that neighborhood. So it's personal. Absolutely, it's absolutely. Personal. So I think if you had Rescue One on there, it would be outstanding. Yeah, outstanding. Yes. yes. Outstanding. So the front. So it would be the... I don't know, maybe if you did a, a skyline wrapping around the back, mm -hmm. and then you could put the Twin Towers in there. Twin Towers, absolutely. Yeah. So wrap that around. What is this? It's the skyline. <laughs> skyline of what city? <laughs> in Chicago. So do we want the Freedom Tower and then the Twin Towers on the other side? Well, or, uh, or I like the Twin Towers, but uh, like we have on a patch, a, you know, maybe a, a subtle color. So oh, it's not like so this. prominent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So it's not so prominent. Mm -hmm. I think 9-11 is such a, has such a big impact on everyone that it should be on the mask somehow. 343. 343? That's a number of firefighters that were... That would be great right there. 343 on the chin here, maybe. Yeah. 343. You put a Maltese on the back. I'll bet it just called the Maltese cross. OK. And that would look really cool on the back. In the back, you won't really see it, because here on the back, you have the straps, too, from oh, the mask. Oh, OK. Oh, right, right. So some goal is you see the back a little more often, though, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> you got a point. You could break it up this way. Go like that. Mm -hmm. Put that in center. I'm sure Dave's going to have a lot of ideas as well. Um, well, I'll discuss it with Dave when we meet. <laughs> yeah, OK. Yeah. <laughs> How long do you need to stay in Sweden for? I, you know, listen, a week, I guess. Yeah, you week. know, It's such a long flight. I'd hate to go, yeah, right. land, and then fly back. When it's done, he sends it back, and I'm going to wear this mask in a game. And awesome. for that game, I would love to have you guys there. Oh, that'd be a home run. Oh, that'd man. be a home run. <laughs> oh. And the only thing I tell people when they come is bring a win. Yes. And that, they can come back home, uh -huh. you know, as many times as you want. I just want to thank you guys for taking the time. It, it, it was awesome to meet you and to see uh, this place and to hear your stories. So hopefully we meet at the garden with the mask ready and uh, two awesome. points for the Rangers. Oh, yeah. yeah. Thank, thank you. I yeah. appreciate it. Thank, thank you so you. much. Thank you. Thanks. Pleasure. Thanks. Now it's time to send the Rescue One design to Dave, my mask maker, back to Sweden. Hey, hey, what's up, Dave? Hey, Hank, how are you doing? I'm pretty good. How are you? I'm very fine. I'm excited about this one. Yeah? Uh, went to Fire Department of New York. How was it? It was great. You know, we sat down and talked about what they do, what they go through physically and mentally, and I just have so much respect for, for what they do. Yeah, it's um, incredible. And I think this mask should definitely be uh, some sort of tribute. Yeah, this one will be um, kind of... Uh... Uh, difficult to make. We we really need to do it very worthy. Yeah, I think the detail work needs to be really good. So let, let's just jump right into it here. Mm -hmm. uh, we talked about on one side to uh, maybe catch a little bit 9-11, yeah. um, but there's one very famous photo from 9-11 from where they had the American flag. There's three firefighters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's wonderful. We also discussed 
family members, friends uh, that passed away that day. 343. But I think that number, it means a lot to them and I, I think it, it should definitely be on the mask. Yeah, and big. How about if we paint the number with the New York Rangers styled letters in red and white? Yeah, that's cool. Mm -hmm. And then we discuss maybe their logo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know the, the Maltese cross. Yeah, I don't know if you want to work with the colors, maybe have some New York feel. Thinking about the skyline, um, I think we should uh, do it so it really pop out from the design. How about make a, a, a white skyline on each side coming out from the design somehow? Yeah, that could be cool. We also discussed uh, the Twin Towers. If we don't make them as solid buildings, maybe using them as two lights going up in the sky. Yeah, that's a cool idea. Great. I'm excited about this one. It's going to mean a lot to a lot of people, including myself. So uh -huh. good luck Thank with you. the job, Dave. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sir Hank. All right. Okay. Talk to you soon. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. This mask was one of the most difficult masks to create because me and Henrik wanted to be really worthy. My favorite element in this design is first the firefighters raising the American flag and also the 343 on the chin. That was very special. Immediately when I saw the Maltese cross, I felt it is a perfect thing to have on a mask like this and we placed it big and dominating on the top of the mask. On all Henrik's masks, he always wants the New York skyline, but here we made it more dominating. The skyline is placed on each side, very graphic, built in into the white stripes of the New York Rangers colors. When I painted the Rescue One fire truck on the mask, I painted the fire truck small driving and behind it a close up of the front of the car with the famous word outstanding. This mask was one of the most difficult because of its story and I'm truly honored to be a little part of this process. Hank, I felt a great sense of responsibility this time around. It's an honor to create the mask in tribute of the fallen heroes of 9-11 as well as the living ones at Rescue One. I know New York is close to your heart, so I just hope this mask lives up to the standards of the Big Apple. Now, go out there and win this one for your incredible city and the brave fire department that protects it. Dave. The mask Dave created was outstanding. Between the 9-11 tribute, the rescue truck won and their slogan, I think it all came together really well and I can't wait to wear it in the game. It's gonna be an honor. When it comes to real tests, let's go play some hockey.